I have trouble understanding how my ex could do this. Long story. I've recently broken up with my now ex-girlfriend whom I've known for a bit over four years, and after messing around for over a year and figuring each other out, we ultimately ended up in a relationship. I cannot for the life of me figure out how she could treat me like she did. I really thought she was the one, and we were fully planning our future together, from looking at houses and furniture to sharing our dreams and everything. I was utterly and completely in love with her, more and more as time passed. We were planning on buying our first house in the coming year. When I met her, she was very troubled. She had no father figure and had the whole shebang of issues, eating disorders, no school or degree, no job, social anxiety, depression, living at home, everything. I myself had one major issue, which is that my parents broke up multiple times due to cheating and lies and that my ex also cheated on me. This ingrained me with the idea that opening up too easily to people would leave me hurt in the end. I shared this with her, and we've tried to work on this, as she needed lots of reassurance and attention. I wasn't very good at this, but I tried to work on it, and I explained where it came from every time we brought it up. I thought we were working on it. She has always reassured me that she would absolutely not cheat on me, and that if we ever felt a negative emotion or felt like it wasn't working out, we would communicate this immediately. It was our number one promise. I have always tried my very best to be accommodating in our relationship, from supporting whatever possible future she could imagine for herself and buying everything she needed to at least try it, to helping her get out of her shell, getting comfortable with other people, moving out, getting a job, trying to help her get over her eating disorder, making her feel loved, and ensuring that she had a wonderful future ahead of her and telling her that she absolutely deserves to be loved. During the relationship, I pushed away my friends to make her less insecure and I quit my contractual job to go freelance as it meant I would always be able to have time off whenever the two of us could be together. She had done things before that I couldn't even begin to understand, but I just brushed those off as mistakes. Because she had a job that she felt semi-secure for the first time in her life, and she liked her co-workers, we decided we would look for a place near her work. She lived about 1.5 hours away from me, and thus, I halted my life and development to ensure that I had enough time for her and that I would be able to move immediately when possible. This had been going on for about a year or so, and it was starting to take a toll on me. Not once did the thought of us not spending the rest of our lives together cross my mind. I was completely sure that I would spend the rest of my days making her and my dreams come true. In that last year, I lost my purpose and sense of improvement. My life was on hold, and I had lost everything else purely for our shared future. She was my entire future. It was making me depressed and made me feel worthless, resulting in me distancing myself more from her which I knew was terrible for her, as she was still carrying all the insecurities and stuff from the past somewhere within. We communicated this. The conclusion was always that this would only be temporary and that afterward, it would all be worth it when we were finally living together. And I was so sure it would be worth it. All of it. October comes around, and she has a party with her company. Saturday, she is with me, and we have a wonderful time. We are intimate, and I drop her off at the train so she can join the party later that day. All goes well as far as I know, and I message her to not drink too much, to have a great time, and to let me know when she gets home. She messages me that she is drinking water and all is well. The following week, we don't see each other as she is working, but I notice her becoming very distant and different from usual. I try and talk about it, but she glosses over it. I asked her more about the party, but all she said was that it was okay. As I become more and more sure something is off, I start looking for reasons. I communicate my insecurity with how she is acting and bring up how she had sent dozens of snapchats to someone and none to me, but she brushes it off and reprimands me for not trusting her. I ask her if she still loves me, and she reassures me she does and asks the same of me. Of course, I do. Thursday, the week after the party, rolls along, and in the evening, all hell breaks loose. I get a message saying something is wrong. I panic and ask her if everything is okay. Is her family okay? Did something happen to her mom or the dogs? Did she hurt herself? After beating around the bush for a while, she admitted that she cheated on me at the party with her manager, who is married and has three children. Sex. I see my past, present, and future evaporate in front of me, and I freak out. She tells me that she will do anything to make up for it, and that we can't end it over a text message like this. I tell her that I need space. Out of my mind, I become insecure, and I picture a million ways in which it might have gone down. That following Friday, 
I sent her a text asking if we could meet up for an actual discussion as I couldn't take the imagination anymore and why she hadn't even been able to bring herself to send me even one message, even though she was online 24-7. She reprimanded me that she had been texting her sister and best friend and that she wasn't even allowed to do that anymore. The following day, Saturday, she came by. She came in, walked straight up to her stuff, and started packing. She didn't say anything. She just kept quiet. After a while I couldn't bear it and started asking her if that was all it was to her, if this was it. If this was all we were worth, no sorry, and no regret, no, I'll do anything, just packing up. I was broken. She sat down and said that she had nothing to say. Nothing could repair our relationship, and it was up to me whether I wanted to or could forgive her. I said that she was pushing all responsibility on me and that all I needed was for her to tell me she loved me, that she wanted me, that she regretted it, and that she wanted to work on us. She said she felt nothing, that she hadn't been able to feel anything that entire week after she cheated, that she didn't sleep or eat. After a while, when she finished packing and was about to walk out the door, she finally broke down. She started saying how she would do anything, how I could read all her messages, how she loved me and saw no future before meeting me, how she felt like she had no worth before meeting me. I was honestly so relieved to hear her say that she still loved me. I still had worth. We settled down, and I discussed how much she meant to me and that we would both have to work hard to repair this damage. It wouldn't be easy or quick, but it could be done. She agreed. I asked one last thing of her to see her WhatsApp messages to her best friend. She said I could read whatever and access whatever, and I had a hunch the two of them would discuss things behind my back oftentimes, as for some reason unknown to me, her best friend seemed to hate me to the bone. Unfortunately, I was right. She became pale white and started staring out in front of her. All she could utter was no. I asked her, why not? Why couldn't she trust me with just some messages after all that she had already admitted to? Why can't I just take a peek at the conversation? just that last week. She continues staring at her phone for what seems like an eternity and ultimately says I can't read it anymore. Why? I ask her. Because I deleted everything, she says. Everything falls apart for a second time. She made a choice. She deleted everything instead of being honest with me. She ended up deleting her entire WhatsApp afterward, deleting all of her messages with everyone. She tells me that she is willing to do anything and that she immediately regrets deleting it just now right after she deleted everything. I tell her to ask her friend to screenshot the entire conversation from the party until then and send it back over. I watch her try and message her friend to leave parts out and to delete parts. I get absolutely sick to my stomach. After a while, and come the screenshots. She desperately tells me that she needs to look them over before I do and that she needs to tell me exactly what happened before I get to look at them. What do you need to look them over for? You wrote them. I say. She insists. She proceeded to tell me that there was never anything before that Saturday, but that more things had happened in the week since. She had long and deep conversations with him both during and outside of work. It all went wrong again Thursday before she confessed about the party. They had a long conversation again, during which they went to a secluded and used portion of the offices. They had sex again. I couldn't accept being lied to like that again, but what I dreaded even more was ending everything right as I was making myself so vulnerable and after deciding to make it work regardless. I couldn't break and bend this much for nothing. So I continue. Stupidly. I read the text messages, and the truth was more terrible than she said it was. They had been flirting for the better part of the year, and his wife had an altercation with her before, where his wife told my girlfriend to keep her hands off of her husband. They weren't drunk at that party and were flirting with each other the entire night. They pushed up against each other in a hallway and eventually had sex in the toilets. My girlfriend was the one that went into the bathroom and locked the door. Afterward, they spent the entire night kissing. She and her friend were ridiculing me for being insecure, and they discussed how she would have a future with him after I broke up with her. About how she could break up with me under the pretext that I was doubting her so she wouldn't have to tell me what she did. They shared screenshots about not using condoms that following Thursday when they had sex in the office and about how he said he didn't regret a thing. About how she could accept his children, even though she told me she never ever wanted kids. Her friend told her that she had been living a lie with me for years and that there was never any love. An unimaginable amount more was said. It became worse and worse and worse, and I read things that will forever haunt me. When I went through it all, I just could not think straight anymore. My mind was buzzing from the betrayal, but most of all from the pure disrespect towards me. Nonetheless, I made the absolutely retarded decision to continue trusting her. 
I said we could work it out if she did X, Y, and Z and that we would just have to work super hard. I was deluding myself. In the end, we came to the conclusion that she loved me more than anything and I her, and that she would do anything to work things out. I asked her what she meant when she said she loved me. She would think about it. I still do not know. I then told her that I was still missing two days of conversation, from Thursday when she told me up until that Saturday. She told me that she didn't talk to her friend during that time, but I knew that was a lie, because of what she said that Friday. I reminded her of this, and ultimately giving in, she said she would ask for those last two days of messages. It became later in the evening, and I sort of forgot about the last bits of messages, I was absolutely beat. She suddenly told me that her friend became livid that we were trying to stay together and that she deleted all the messages with him. This struck me as odd, but I thought that after all the shit she tried to hide and all the things we discussed, there was no way she would still be hiding things. She stayed over and slept on my couch as we would resume the discussion the next day. She slept like a baby while I went over the conversation again and again and again like I was insane. One of the things that bothered me was those last bits of messages and her deleting the conversation with her best friend again. The next morning, I got out of bed and made myself some coffee. She said nothing. She just sat there on the couch. I asked her if there was anything she thought about or she wanted to discuss. Nothing. I then asked her about those last couple of messages. She gets defensive and asks me if I'm going to do this forever, if I will ever be able to trust her, and if she has to show me proof of everything every single time. I try to reassure her that I can trust her, but that she has broken that trust into a million little pieces and that the only way to rebuild it is by her helping me and showing me that she can be trusted. It would just take time. A week, a month, or however long we need it. I watched her send a message to her friend, which said, Can you send over screenshots from the last couple of days again? The again set off every single alarm bell. I confronted her and asked her why she said, again. She stayed quiet. I sat down. Why did you delete them yesterday? I ask, is that what you were doing when you were proofreading them? She stumbled on an incoherent answer. She started by saying that I shouldn't take what I am going to read too seriously. That it was all a joke. That she wasn't herself and that she was never herself when talking to her best friend. That she puts on a character. The character of a whore. She doesn't know why she does it. She just wants to fit in with how her friend thinks of her, she says. I finally got to see the screenshots, and for a third time, I broke. In the screenshots, they discussed how she liked her manager and how she found him to be attractive and charming. This absolutely made me livid. Worse, however, was that she sent over a screenshot from a different conversation with a different person. Someone she had met during the first or second year of us knowing each other when she briefly went to school to become a dietitian. She felt like they were flirting with each other. She went on to say that if things didn't work out with her manager or me, she could always go for this person, as she'd had a crush on this person for years and always felt like they had been flirting with each other for years. Her friend thought this was a great idea and reassured my girlfriend that she shouldn't be too worried when flirting, as it was obvious that this person liked her as well. Years. Years. That was how long she had been cheating on me, at least emotionally. And at least a year with her manager. All the things that she ever said, how she loved me more than I loved her, how she would never get another partner if I died, how she would kill herself if I cheated. All of it went up in smoke. All of it turned out to be pure manipulation. As I was reading those messages, she stood right back up and started packing her things. I repeated some of the things I read out loud to her, incredulous at how she could say such things and at the same time say she loves me more than I love her. Again, we got to the point where she had the bags packed and had to leave. And again, she broke down. She started bawling, as did I. After giving up everything, lowering myself so much, and facing all these lies, all the disrespect, the cheating, the ridicule, I still couldn't just end it. I couldn't end everything I had been living my life for and suffer all this just to be left with nothing. Again, she promised me the world. She would tell his wife, she would tell her boss, she would never lie to me again, she swore this was all and that she would never keep me in the dark again. She would tell him to leave her alone, and she reassured me that she wanted to be with me and only me. As stupid as I was, I agreed. I went along with it. I asked her if she wanted to start atoning immediately, and she wanted to message her manager's wife then and there. She went on her Facebook but told me she was blocked, so she couldn't message her. As stupid as I was, I just went on my computer, made a brand new Facebook as I had none, and told her she could use it to send over a message. She spent the better part of an hour trying to craft a message in which she told his wife about their infidelity, 
that they cheated Friday, that they had long conversations, shared their feelings, about that he told her that he didn't regret it and that they cheated again on Thursday, about that she was sorry and that she was open to any other questions. As my girlfriend was typing this, she was also messaging her manager through WhatsApp, pressuring him to tell his wife himself before she sent the message to give him one last chance, or so I thought. My girlfriend also ended up telling him that she would send his wife a message through Facebook and that she would receive it in her message requests. He found the message and deleted it before she ever had the chance to see it. He even thanked my girlfriend for it, saying, thanks. As blindly in love as I was, I could not comprehend that she might have done this on purpose and continued believing every word she had said and had full faith that she could still be the honest and perfect partner I had once seen in her. After talking for a bit more about all the things we should do, she told me that she had to get home as she needed to feed and care for her birds, etc. Which I knew not to be true, as there really wasn't a need for her to leave this early, but I accepted it, thinking she was just mentally exhausted. Before she left, she took a look around and decided that it would be smart for her to take her birthday present with her, a super expensive blender worth about $1,000, as her birthday was only a couple of weeks away. Thinking I would see her again in a couple of days, I agreed. She turned around and, I will never forget this, said, this will look wonderful later in our kitchen. That never came to pass, and I don't think she was honestly planning on seeing me ever again in hindsight. As she got home, I texted her but received no answer. Thinking her manager might have been waiting for her or something, I panicked and called her a couple of times to make sure she was okay. She reacted annoyed and told me she was just picking up a package. I proceeded to not hear anything from her after that. Later that evening, her sister messaged me, saying that my girlfriend was going to do none of the things she promised she would. That she was not going to give up her newly built life and comfort and security for me, and that I should just call it, and that she and I should break up. Completely confused, I messaged my girlfriend asking what the message from her sister was all about and if she was really going back on her word. How could all the things she told me still be a lie after all we went through that weekend? She messaged me back, saying that she didn't want to do all that she promised to do to make amends, that she didn't want to upset her life, and that she wanted to take a break so that we could think calmly. She didn't want to break up. She just wanted a break. I told her that I didn't want to break. I said I thought she would end up going right back to finding alternatives and that she would just end up continuing her behavior with her manager and her old classmate. She assured me she would never do that, but nonetheless, I didn't agree as I couldn't find it in myself to believe her, so we decided not to end it yet again. Breaking yet again and taking another step back, I told her that all I needed from her was to distance herself from her manager and to tell him that she would choose me and that he should tell his wife what happened. She agreed to do so. The following Tuesday, I had heard nothing substantial from her, nothing about whether she and her manager had talked yet, about her feelings, about her conversation with her best friend, about her old classmate, nothing. So I ended up just directly asking her, did you talk to your manager? Dot. No, it was her answer. He's been ignoring me. Did he also not text you after telling you thanks for the Facebook message? No, again. Really? I asked. Yes, really. She said. I asked again. She then confessed to me. He did send her a message. But only a short one. And she didn't respond. And she deleted her conversation with him again afterward. As I told her that she was lying to me again, and asking her to for once truly be honest with me, she started getting upset. She told me about how she and her manager had had a long conversation again, but that she didn't want to tell me about it. About how she and her manager got along great and about how she wanted to explore her feelings for the guy. I told her in clear words, you can either be with me, fight with me, talk with me, take a break with me, maybe get together again with me, or you can choose to be more than colleagues with him. Will you please stop seeing him as more than a colleague? No, came back. Afterwards, all she said was, me and him get along just fine. For the fourth time, I broke. After all these steps back, all the disrespect, all the lies, all the cheating, the deceit, the manipulation, all that I sacrificed, she chose him. She chose a lying sack of shit husband with three children over me, the person who had built her up for the past five years. She chose him, and it broke me into a million pieces. Finally, I could no longer delude myself that she would choose me. I snapped. I told her that me and her were done forever. That all my love and care and pain was turning into anger and hatred. About how I knew they would never tell her and that they didn't deserve to keep this a secret. About how his wife and his children didn't deserve a dad like him. 
about how my childhood was irreparably damaged due to a dad like this and that his wife deserved to make the choice herself. I would tell his wife myself if she and him would not. No, 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 she replied. You changed these last few days. I don't love you anymore, and it is turning into hatred as well, she said. Seriously, I wish you would just die. I replied, just lay down on the tracks. This was my last interaction with her, as she blocked me and removed me everywhere. Immediate regret set in, and I messaged everyone that I could contact to keep an eye out for her to make sure she didn't hurt herself. I messaged her mother that I regretted saying the things I did, and if needed, I would travel over. She never did do the same. She never texted anyone to check up on me, never said sorry, never expressed regret, and never informed anyone herself. I still can't get over that, honestly. I honestly feel like she really rather have me die than that she would have to take any form of responsibility for what she did and to ensure other people would never find out what she is capable of. As soon as I lost use and was no longer able to be lied to and manipulated, she just discarded me as garbage. I contacted the manager's wife the next day. The first thing she told me was that she knew. She knew they were drunk and made a mistake at the party. Incredulously, I asked her about the rest. The rest? She asked. I told her about their conversations, about Thursday, about the message my girlfriend sent her, and about how they were still talking. She told me she was getting sick and had to hang up the phone. She texted me back a bit later and said that she didn't believe me. She had asked her husband, and he had sworn on their three children that it was just a mistake on Friday. I was disgusted. How could a father swear a lie on his three kids? Is this the guy my ex chose over me? I told her to ask my girlfriend. Even then, I couldn't fathom the thought of her lying straight to this woman's face. I also practically begged her to forgive my girlfriend, as at the time, I thought the weight of her actions and lies might break her eventually and that forgiveness might help her move on more honestly. She later texted me back, telling me I was a liar. My girlfriend told her that I texted and threatened her husband with my girlfriend's phone, that I wrote that Facebook message, and that I sent it. My girlfriend had told her that I was imagining all of this and telling her this purely out of spite to hurt everyone. For the fifth time, I broke. This time completely. There was nothing left. The woman I loved for five years, to whom I gave everything, the person I trusted so unimaginably much, the person to whom I confided all my issues and my shortcomings, destroyed me. Willingly. Utterly and completely. Time and time again. She left not a piece of me to be glued back together. Even after all of this, I still found it in me to send her a message over Instagram, telling her that I had just heard what she said about me, and that she was more broken than I could have ever known. But that despite everything, I still forgave her, and all I wanted was for her to seek help and forgiveness, and that even during last chances for forgiveness, she chose lies. Her best friend sent me a message out of the blue, wishing death upon me and telling me to get every disease known to mankind about how I deserved to be cheated on and how they didn't and wouldn't tell his wife the truth. Her mother threatened me, that I should make sure they would never be able to find me if anything happened to her and that they would sue me. I was truly on the edge in the days following this. I had no future, no past, no present, no goals or dreams, no friends left, nothing. I had to call my brother to pick me up to ensure I didn't do anything stupid. Even now, a month later, I am sure that I will never be able to love again and that I will never be able to trust a partner again. I learned of all of this in just a single conversation in a single week. What about all the other deleted conversations? What about the other five years? I now realize that there is no way that this was all she had done during the time I knew her. I only read five days of WhatsApp conversations and this is all that it uncovered. She used me to better herself, and while knowing of the traumas I sustained in the past, she was committing even worse treachery. After using me up, and having me destroy my life for the past year so, we could move in together near her work. Whilst flirting and cheating with her manager, she mercilessly destroyed me, and now gets to just continue on with her life like nothing ever happened. The question that haunts me the most is this, how? How could she do this? How could she say she loves me, and at the same time do this? How can she wake up and go to sleep knowing what she did? How can she live a lie for the rest of her life? How? How do I move forward, and how will I ever be able to trust myself and others in an intimate relationship again? How do I come to terms with what has happened?